Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and I'm working for the company iCare. In this video tutorial, I will guide you over a general overview about the CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. The CSI 2140 Machinery Health Analyzer, once started up, he will go automatically in the to the last opened application and in this example it was a root application. In this video tutorial we will talk about the general functionality of the analyzer. So normally the first thing to do now is to push the home button on the analyzer to go to the home screen. What you are seeing now is a home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer. In every screen there are up to 12 function keys, 6 on the left and 6 on the right. However, in multiple screens there are more than 12 function keys available and if that is the case you will see here an ALT 1 and by toggling ALT you jump to a second screen with more functions. In this video tutorial we will briefly explain every function here but first of all let's start with the functions in ALT 1. The first one is F2 file utility. As soon as you toggle the file utility function you will have a warning that to access this module the current program have to be shut down. And now you're in the file utility module. What you're seeing here is a list of data files that are active on the analyzer at the moment. Those two, for example, are root files, transient file, analyze file, bal two balancing files, and another analyze file. With F2 and F3, you can go over the files. With F9, you can select one. And then with F7, for example, you can delete one. If you have an external SD card installed on the analyzer, in this screen you can also copy files from one memory to another memory. F4 set display units. For F2 set acceleration, you can specify here if you want to see your acceleration signal in RMS, in peak, peak to peak, average or dB. A special note here is that those factors will be applicable automatically and will even convert all your historically collected data already in the analyzer. An example, if all your settings were here in peak and you have collected already a lot of data, all the data acceleration data will be explained in peak. However, if you go back to this screen and you put acceleration into RMS, all the historical data will be converted immediately and will be displayed in RMS. The same story for F3 set velocity. You can put it in RMS peak, peak to peak, average or dB. Same story for displacement and same story for non-standard, for example for current measurements. F6 set units, you can choose here between English, metric or SI units. Also here, any moment in time, you can change the setting from metric to SI or to English and it will also work on your historically already collected data. F8 set dB ref. Here you can change the reference values for your Excel velocity or displacement data. F10 change Y axis type. You can have the Y axis displayed linear or log. F11 change X axis type, linear or log, and F12 is to change between frequency units in Hertz or in CPM. 
communication setup F5. As we are speaking now, there are two communication modules available and you can choose them by toggling F1, set connect port, you can choose between USB or Ethernet. However, very soon wireless communication will be available also and you will be able to specify it in this screen. Program management. Here you have an option to, for example, update the firmware on your analyzer to add application programs or delete application programs. One special note here is you can only add certain application programs if you have the license files for that. On the right side you have immediately access to the five main functionalities of the analyzer. F7 is the analyze mode, F8 is the root mode, F9 is a balance mode, F11 is a transient mode, F12 is the ODS model mode. We will make dedicated video tutorials about every of those five functions. So in this video tutorial, I only gonna open quickly every function. So F7 advanced analyze. This is a home screen of the analyze application. F8 root. This is an example of a root mode. F9 balance. This is a home screen of the balancing application. F11 transient. This is the screen of the transient application. Special note here. Transient means that you will collect a relatively long waveform and all traditional calculations on long waveforms like snapshots, spectra, waterfall plots, orbits, big phase, cascade can be calculated from those, what, those transient signals. F12 ODS model. This is to start the ODS model. As explained in the beginning, in this screen you see ALT1. That means there is a second screen with functions available. And here is a second screen with functions. F1 version. Here you see the current version of all your software on the analyzer and the build date of the software. F2 general setup. F2 set keypad beeper you can toggle between on and off off means that as if you access one of the functions there is no sound on means every time that you toggle one of the functions you hear a sound f3 set status beeper also here you can toggle between on and off on means when data collection is finished you will hear a sound off means when data collection is finished you will not hear a sound. F4 set standby time, standby time 10 minutes, means that when there is no activity on the analyzer, after 10 minutes he will switch off automatically. F5 set backlight time, 100 seconds, means when there is for 100 seconds no activity on the analyzer, the backlight will switch off. Set print mode. You have here the option to send screen captures of the data collector to the PC or to the external SD card as a bitmap or a JPEG or you can disable this function. Some additional info here. In a lot of screens you will see a function called print. If you activate that function, the software will make a kind of a screen capture of your actual screen and store it as an image. Where to store the image that is exactly specified here. Set backlight F8. There are four options. The backlight can be low, medium, high or auto. 
Auto means that the analyzer will adjust the backlight automatically depending on the environment backlight. F10 is to calibrate the touchscreen. I see Alt 1 here, that means there is a second page. Second page, F3, set warning level. Battery warning level is specified 15%. That means that as soon as the battery life goes below 15% remaining battery life, you will get a warning. F4, set hold time. 3 seconds means you have to keep the on off bottom down for more than 3 seconds before the analyzer will really switch off. F3 set time. In this screen you can specify the time, the date, the time zone and the display format for the time and the date. Memory utility. Here you see some detailed information about the actual memory of the analyzer. A summary of the free memory, the 88%, is also displayed on the home screen. Battery utility. Also here you see some detailed information about the battery status, but the remaining battery life will be also displayed on the home screen. F6 view error log. If there is an error on the analyzer, a log file will be created and you can access the log file in this screen. And connect for printing. As explained before, you can create screen captures of the actual screen on the analyzer and send it to the software but then you first have to make a connection and making the connection you can do that by access the function here. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information about iCare and our products please visit our website or drop an email to one of the following emails. Thank you, have a nice day.